Okay, we're on tutorial 3-4. On page 112, we need to open it up and um, from the Maps folder, so let's go get it. Dash four, open it up, and we're going to save it. And this goes in our exercises, chapter three. And we're going to attack uh, Asians and Blacks on the end of it. And we want the um, contiguous 48 states, so we're going to uh, just zoom in and go from about here to there. and right click the population layer and turn off label features for now and that's just to speed things up a little bit okay uh... in the table of contents We want to right click uh, layers and go to properties and click the general tab. And on the general tab, um, change the name from layers to Asians. Do not click OK. And the coordinate system. And uh, USA contiguous all birds equal area conic, which is what we want. And click OK. And click on Yes. And right click the Asians data frame and click Copy. And uh, to create uh, the, uh, a copy of the data frame up here. Um, if we go down here and go down and right click and try to paste, that doesn't work. But if we go up here to edit and choose paste, then we get another copy down here. Okay. Uh, change the pasted data frame's name to blacks. And uh, okay, I don't see a rename here, but if we click on a second time, then we can edit. Okay, we need to do the your turn, your turn stuff here on um, page one thirteen. Um, symbology of the population layer in the blacks data frame uh, right click properties and we want the symbology tab I'm sorry it said uh, right click on the layer so um, properties And on the Symbology tab, um, import the state's population layer, layer file. So there's an import button here. And um, Let's click on OK. 
and select the field to match the fields that we're using and um, we want black as the value field and um, we are not doing any normalization here click on OK keep the same color ramp uh, both data frames can then use the same legend in the map layout uh, your finished map, doc map document will appear as follows um, and then there's a picture down below and let's click on OK and you notice this changed over here when we did that it said Asians before and uh, to switch from one data frame to another right click on the data frame and click activate so there's one data frame right click on this one and choose activate and now I'm on this one and our document should look an awful lot like the one at the bottom of page 113 okay. um, now we're going to switch to our layout view which is up here and click the visible view drag it up an inch or so okay now it's actually drawing both of them there and if we drag one of them up a little bit now we can see that we've got two of them and uh, in layout view right click the layout and page uh, click page and print setup so let's just right click and uh, page and print setup and make sure size is um, letter and uh, we want portrait uh, for both um, paper and for page and uh, click on OK and then we're going to put some um, ruler guidelines in here we want the horizontal ruler uh, half an inch, six and a half inches, six point eight, and uh, eight. And then the vertical ruler we want uh, one, five point four, five point six, six point five, and and now I'm on the top of page 115 make sure the Asians data frame is active so um, if I go here and click on Asians up here and um, I want to drag that So it's upper left corner snaps to the intersection uh, at the 10 inch mark. So right there. And uh, the point 0.5. Okay. And drag the lower right handle so that it snaps. Okay, now I'm going to take this one and drag it down a ways. And. Okay, this one appears to be Asians. Let me oh, come on. Okay, so I want it there and um, drag the lower right hand and snap it at uh, six and a half and five point six. Okay, and then I want the other one probably right down here and. Yeah. 
That should give us two data frames that are the same size. And, um, okay, so uh, change and coordinate map extensive both data. Okay. Um, I want to get uh, this. Forty-eight states to fill up the data frame and be centered. Well, right now, um, I'm going to try um, to zoom out a little bit. Okay, and that's one to thirty million. And I'm going to take this one down here, and I'm going to try to um, zoom out a little bit. And that's also one to thirty million. And so they are both exactly the same size. Um, and I want this to be the active frame. Right click uh, and go to properties. Oops, let's go over here. Properties. And uh, extent indicators. And take this and. Move it over there and click the fix zoom out button sensor. See the entire red extent indicators. Um, okay, said so click OK and uh, let's click yes and um, It says click uh, zoom out. And uh, it says use a zoom in tool to drag a rectangle matching the red rectangle to the extent indicators and blah 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 and so I want to take this and use the zoom in tool okay so Okay, and I'm on page 116, number 7 now. So click the Select Elements button on the Tools toolbar, and right-click the Blacks Data Frame, and click Properties, Extend Indicators, Move agents from the right panel to the left panel, click OK. Now both frames should have maps that fill up and match well. Um, yeah, we can do it that way, but I actually liked it the way I had it before better, so I'm going to just uh, see if I can undo this. And um, let me see. Let's get rid of that and let's go to this. And I think that was 30 million, is what we had there before. And let's go down here. Okay, and let's uh, choose this one down here, and let's make it 1 to 30 million, too. And there we go, and I'm going to stop the video there, and we'll finish 3-4 in the next video.